Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're playing EVE. We're gonna start a new account, and we're gonna go unranked to challenge and play EVE. And I'll show you exactly how to do it, very informative, and I'll show you all, all the games. Alright, so, first things first is our first game. It's gonna be an absolute stomp, absolute free win, we're playing in new blue. Um, first things first, I'm pathing top because, um... My bot lane is MF Amumu, which is a lane that does not get priority, and both top laners have Ignite. So, top's very volatile, and if I path a bot, they cannot do anything, because uh, they're just going to be poked and pushed under turret. I kind of want to play around Amumu 6 here. Um, don't look. I flash into a Zyra route. I meant to flash over it, and then burn to the mirror flash. I will. Look for a bit of a cheese, but yeah, I just shouldn't have went for this. It just uh, wasted my time, wasted a lot of my time. But it's fine, right? We just adapt. Usually, I wouldn't do that, but I don't know. I'm just trying out on the new map, seeing if they would die for doing that. But nope. Oh, good. We're just full clear up now. Chilling. Thinking of getting my full clear off and then tracking where Hecarim could be. Uh, since their bot lane started there, I assume Hecarim started topside because their bot lane didn't leash. And Hecarim's usually like to path bot. Very commonly I've noticed. Um, so I don't have to be scared of an invade here versus Hecarim. If you're ever scared of an invade in this situation, what you want to do, you want to ward the red buff bush just to my left right now. And then you want to just do crowds instead of red, and that'll prevent most invades from happening. Nice, just clearing. Not really much to do. Now we just got to think what we're going to do after our full clear. You can either recall, do crugs or gank. I mean, do scuttle or gank. Um, I see that happen top and I feel like nothing's going to happen. If anything happens, I can't really impact it. I don't have flash. If I had flash, I would have went there, but they just walk away from me. That's the problem with having uh, no flash and even not getting a flank. All good. When there's nothing to do, just reset in this bush after scuttle and then ward their buff or their grump to see where they're going to go to it. Or when and you better track them. We're going Storm Surge, unfortunately, Storm Surge and Predable did get a nerf, but I think it's nerfed because it's so broken. Now it's like still just really good, so that's what we're going. And for runes, for runes, we don't go sorcery anymore because we need to just build Storm Surge first item. Um, we can't rush tier two boots anymore because amp uh, amp tomes are so cheap. And Hextech alternators are very, very OP on this jam. So I'm really happy that they changed that. But So that just means we're going Inspiration second now. So we can just go no boots and just get free boots. Plus Cosmic Insights are really OP on EVE. And without Protobelt, you do need the Flash cooldown. Because sometimes you can't get those really important picks without the Flash or Protobelt. So that's why Inspiration second is the key now. clearing up I have Skyd on grubs uh, Hecarim can't actually sneak grubs on last patch um, you could sneak into the Rift Herald thing if you hug the wall on the upper side of the scuttle but now the wall next to the scuttle doesn't hide you if you hug it uh, to get into the pit so I know Hecarim can't do grubs without being seen for the most part here um, which means he's pathing down right it's just jungle tracking and we do have a nice pink ward there on the entrance of Dragon, so... I do know Hecarim's bot. 
He's either bot or in grubs, but here I just know it's uncontested. There's no one gonna be here, so I'm just gonna like just do grubs. Grubs. The first grub on Eve is the number one priority. Just remember that, okay? Because grub, the first one gives 300 XP, so that's our priority because we want to get level six first. That's our champion identity here. So that's the number one thing here. All right, then just clearing uh, this, and then hey, Kled comes over, so. We just want to flash before Kled sees us. Flash, so it's like he doesn't know that we flashed. But yeah, flashing is good. We want to die if we don't. And we got all three grubs, which is nice. And we get level six of Prugs. And what do we do when we're six? We want to look for a play to use our ult and get some free kills. Or just use invisibility. You don't always have to use your ult. Just the invisibility part's so broken. So I get to use invisible and then walk up and kill this guy. Start with W, Q. Hold your E vs Kled. You want to E him in his little form. Ideally, E one of his Qs so you can follow him. Okay, now we see Hecker. He's level 5 and my Annie's level 6. So get in there, fight him. I'm telling my Annie. I'm just gonna run him level six with ult, so no point basing. Even though, I've, even though I've got so much gold, I'm so strong. I don't need a base. This is just an Evelyn specific thing. If you have lots of gold and you, but you have ult up, you do not need to base. Generally, sometimes you will want to base if there's nothing to do. But this is like a plat game, so there's a lot of free kills everywhere. Here, Ari. I'm pretty sure she has no ult, so. I just gotta land my charm. I wait for her to throw her charm, so she's stuck at animation to throw my Q. Really important thing for hitting your Q. Hitting your Q and charm is really important. Now I have item and no ult. And all my camps are up, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna base and full clear. And that way, when we finish our full clear, we have item and our ult's back up, or close to coming back up. So it just all like makes sense and lines up of clear up and look for plays we're in a really good spot here yep just wait for our and full clear and then when our full clear is done we're going to be waiting for our camps to respawn and while they're respawning we're going to use our ult very easy such a fluid game to play um eve is so just clear up protect dark seal stacks Unfortunately, my bot dies, whatever. I'm ready to go. I already know I'm going to carry this game. I'm so fed. I'm so confident. Ekram goes for some sort of weird invade here. I don't want to fight this yet, right? Even though I've got my item, I have Dark Seal stacks and Shutdown that I have to risk if I do take any fight. So you just have to weigh up the risk of fighting. I don't have ult up. That's why I'm so scared to fight this. But Hecarim sort of walks in illegally. Don't know what they're doing. But see how... See how I play it? I have no ult, so I'm just playing really cautiously. Um, right now, just playing for the Scuttle Crab. I can't really gank this. You can't walk through there, sadly, without being seen. And then now, I know Hecarim did his blue buff, because I have blue, or whoever killed him got blue buff, and we saw him. Um, he has done his top side, so what's he going to do now? Go to his spot side. We have ult and storm soldier, we just one shot him, so we're going to go find him. Not in Raptors. Oh, well, probably going to be a red buff. Hello. Boom. Fast combo, one shot. Bye bye. Alright. Ari's overextended. Wait, the main goal here sometimes with Ari is just to like burn her ult if you can, but you'll see what happens. She goes for a weird ward, she misses her E. She holds her E too long. As soon as I see that, I Q flash after and combo before she can ult away. And then now, 
it's time to grab because uh, I've got Storm Surge and I have really good vision, so if Hecarim can't, they can just walk away. You can make the argument to recall there, and you can also make the argument to gank top, but I just prefer grubs here because it's going to give me five or six grubs, which is really important, I think, at the moment. It's really OP. Getting grubs. That's one HP, fail to dive. Facing the glid down. Nice, pick up a kill. And now we want to base before our ult comes up. Why? Because we've got Medjai's. Time for Medjai's, yeah. We got Medjai's and now we want to use our ult, next ult to get Medjai stacks. Yeah, I'm a bit indecisive when I want to buy and it just ends up being that I want to get Banshees as fast as possible to protect my Medjai stacks. Really good way to uh, gank on Evelyn is through the lanes because look, you can just run up. Um, yeah, they split up, so. Just gonna alter there. And now, what do we do? Our ult's down. Time to full clear. And wait for our ult to come back up. Oh, the dogs are barking. Oops. Um. Hey, we're just clearing up here, waiting for it all. Very simple. Don't want to do anything stupid without our ult up and now all of our camps up. If your camps are down, you can sort of fish for things without your ult, but you just need to be really careful not to lose Medjai's and shut down. goes for a gank. Um, oh no. I really play, I play this really badly with mechanics. Um, what I really should do is uh, uh, W the Hecarim and then not, not show you and just W Hecarim and just one shot him. Whatever, Rudy gets a double kill, but it's not really worth because at least my major hasn't shut down. But I'm so far ahead that it doesn't really matter, but yeah, that's just a bit bad mechanically. Unfortunate. Um, Alright, so now what's next? Our ult's up, so we can just run straight bot and kill them again, to be honest, even though we just died. <laughs> Because their ult is up and our flash is coming up. Alright, so we're just looking for plays here um, with our ult and flash. Nice kill on the Samira there, don't need to ult. Now we can look for another thing with our ult up. Another kill. Medjai's, Medjai's, Medjai's. You just sort of want to think in two different ways with Eve. You're either in kill mode because you can't your ult's up and you're strong, or you're in farming mode because you're not ready to fight. Now our ult's down and we, uh, we're close to items, so the goal here is to just get enough I uh, gold for my item and then just base for item and then my ult will come back up and I'll have my buy.
Just clearing, clearing, clearing. Uh, now we're basing and we're going to make a play with our ult. When it comes back up with our item advantage. Get blue trinkets, the best for Eve. The only time you go sweeper is versus like Teemo, because you don't want to get hit by his shrooms. Here's Zyra walks into me. I don't even need ult to kill her, I'm so fed. It's just knowing my damage there. Just yet. This gets a bit risky. There's an annoying pink there, unfortunately. Can't really chase down Ari. Nice, we won the fight. Zyra goes for a pick on me. Lucky I have Banshees. I don't take any damage from her. Get the Medjai's. Actually, I already had Medjai's just getting the kill. Nice. Get Dragon. Deny them their win con, which is soul. Nice, we're just chilling. Waiting for our ult to come back up. Gonna base cause I wanna buy a item before my ult comes up. And well my my team also base, so it's sinking their base with them. Do that camp for the level up. Yeah, I'm just fishing for a pick and then they engage on my MF. They use everything on MF, which is just very grief by them. Very easy, just clean up all the kills. Nice, nice, nice. Saving our ult. We don't ult when you don't need to. Really important. Nice, pick up a nice pick there. Unfortunately, Mumu steals it. That's all good. And Mumu's sad, so you might as well give him something. Ping off my support because I'm invisible. I don't want him to ruin my stealthiness. And we're just fishing for a pick. Notice that movement there? How clean was that? I know I dodged the um, REE. Dodged the REQ. Man, this guy's the GOAT. Yeah, so a lot of times when you queue someone, they're going to think you're going to E them straight away. So you're going to be stuck in animation. So what you can do is you can fake it out and then just move to the side. And since they think you're going to E and just walk in a straight line, that you won't. So you'll dodge a lot of skills doing that. Um, here I wanted Baron, but we didn't want to. My team didn't want to because well, if they don't listen, it's fine. I'll just adapt. I don't have ult up, so I can just base, get my item and then farm or whatever. Get close to level 16. Level 16 is a pretty good power spike. Mainly for the alt CDR.
nice. We're just looking for a pick on anyone. We can pick off Kled. I missed my Q. Really important not to miss your Qs, because what that means is I would have insta dismounted him there and I would have killed him straight after with my E. But I missed my Q, so I have no damage. Can't miss your Q on this champ. And Void Staff and Medjai, that guy just gets deleted. Now I want to do Baron. Kill the Hecarim there. Now Baron, 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 Baron time. Easy game, guys. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Uh, please like the video. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. Um, and if you would like coaching, add my Discord. It's in the description below. Um, yeah. Especially Eve coaching. I'm very good at. Can definitely level you up. You'll get LP. Um, Alright, so now we're just basing. We want to base after Baron Wyatt. Because we want to like spend all the gold. Because we don't want to make two plays at once. We just made a play. We killed them and got Baron. Now it's time to reset, fix our tempo, fix the waves, play around Baron waves and play for the next objective. Why do we want to play for the next objective? Not because we want it, but just to bait them in. That's the way we bait them in to kill them. Nice, nice, nice. Dodge the vision there. Wait for Invis. Don't know what Ari's doing here. She's gone for a bit of a walk, yeah. She is going for a walk. I don't know what she's doing. Kill him. Run out. Dodge the clad ult. Get out of there. Run. And we're fine. Wait for our ult and then we can instantly go for another play because we're so strong. Nice. And the game's pretty much just over from this point. Not really much else to do but just to end the game. Nice, pick up a kill there. Very easy. And now we're just pushing to end the game. I got Ulta and a Flash coming up, so they can't even stay under the turrets without me just one-shotting them. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Just picking off the kills. Making it even easier for us to end. We've got a little Void Mites running in. Bonking the turret. I don't even know what they're doing. Miss my ult like a noob. Would it killed her. And that just wraps up the game. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, hope you learned something. I'm going to be uploading every day um, with this series. And we'll get to challenge of playing Evelyn. I'll show you how to do it step by step. Alright. Peace, guys. Thank you. Thank you.